that was sung by slaves as they were preparing to find their way to freedom. And that message, Wade in the Water, was, and it's kind of like a little infomercial. It was <laughs> folks telling each other in a language that was understood, a religious language, a musical language, that when they were throwing off the scent of the dogs that were on their trail, that they could get in the water, and that would make freedom a little easier to come by. In the water, way I think there's only music that comes from your heart truthfully and that whatever we express, the style and the lyrics and the details are just that, that it's ultimately about pouring yourself and your soul into an expression. I remember when I was a child Without my I was 13 when I picked up the acoustic guitar and I would spend six, eight hours a day just playing, you know, <laughs> forgetting that there was homework to be done, just playing the guitar, teaching myself chords out of books and writing songs. Now I built my life out of poetry. They still breathe. The best thing that you can give your children are roots and wings. And my cheeks glow wet, I'll not forget. And until I was about 18, my dad kept reminding me from his experience that music is a hobby. It's something that you do for fun and you don't do it professionally because it, it doesn't work out. That was his experience. My mother, on the other hand, was the person who put the first acoustic guitar in my hand the minute I asked for it and got me drum lessons the minute I asked for them, gave me a flute on my 14th birthday and who instilled in me this concept of you do what you love and you do your best to make it work. You gave me roots and wings, that is why I Once you filled your cup, take no more. And one day we will Well, I tell my daughter, who intends to be a filmmaker, that everything is fodder, everything is what we're here to write about, is here what we're here to learn about. So life itself is just so exciting and thrilling and you know, wake up every morning, what am I gonna see today? What am I gonna do? Just knowing that there's something new and something familiar that I can see in a new way. I'm actually working on the eighth album now and the title will be Let You In. The theme of Let You In, it is subtly feminine, um, subtly sensual, and largely about coming into my experience, just of being myself. It, there's some, some darkness and some tension to it, and then there's this, I feel, wonderful release in the final song, Square One, that talks about every day and every moment being a, an opportunity to start new. So it's an album that I feel invites people into my personal experience and invites us all to move on the journey forward together. I'm gonna lay down 
my soul to you, my wedding gown. In the last year, I've had the opportunity to do some songwriting with elementary school students and to sing with women who are just healing from the incarceration experience and to see just how meaningful music is. And having the opportunity to share what I do with kids and not just from the perspective of let me stand in front of you and sing, but let's do this together. Let's create something new together. It gives me a feeling of how my work is part of creating the new world that I would like to see all of us emerge into. And our children, more than anyone else, have such a huge task of co-creating the world they want to live in. So I think knowing that they can make music and that they can write songs and make up dances is a tiny little part of recognizing who they are as creative beings and the excitement of, of what else can we make? What else can we do? That it's, you know, it's fun to watch, it's fun to be part of. It's alright, it's alright.